And you know I wear my heart on my sleeve You get in all the reads Pack your shit like you finna leave I go and hide your keys Put you in position to win Bless you without a sneeze Bust you down in all the VV Yeah, we was getting cheap Overplay my part, I can't breathe I feel the pain in my lungs Part I can't breathe, I feel the pain in my lungs. I thought we really was one. My heart cold as hell. She And you know I wear my heart on my sleeve You get in all the reads Pack your shit like you finna leave I go and hide your keys Put you in position to win Bless you without a sneeze Bust you down in all the VV Yeah, we was getting cheap Overplay my part, I can't breathe I feel the pain in my lungs gang <clears throat> hawks fall season's over with my bad let me pull up uh let's look at a good old box score man no box score will tell you a lot about a game let's look at the box score real quick let's go over these numbers real quickly <clears throat> okay okay do, do, do. All right, gang. Bogey, eight for 18, three for 10 from three. And he hit two of those when the game was already out of reach. Ass. Hunter, three for fucking 16, bro. Three for 16, 0 for 7 from three. Minus 16, bro. Clint, 11-15, efficient game. He gave you 22.17 rebounds. Murray, 11 for 21. He gave you 30 points, six assists, seven rebounds. Trey was awful tonight from the field. He was four for 12 from three. He was slightly above average. Uh, amazing at the free throw line, 22 points. Six turnovers, five in the first quarter. Garrison, and then we got nothing else from nobody because Quinn decided not to really play nobody else. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all like this, gang. I'm gonna tell y'all like this, man. Moves got moves gotta be made, man. Moves have to be made this offseason. Got to. I'm gonna put I'll put a lot of this loss on the coach, man. 
I'm gonna put a lot of this loss on the coach. Sometimes you got to keep. I understand NBA politics. I understand certain players, man. But bro, when you got somebody cooking, you gotta let that player cook, man. When you got a unit who getting you back in the game, you have to ride with that unit. It's a must-win game. And the coach chose not to do that. I don't know why. But let me go to Darian, man. What's good, Darian? What's popping with you, my guy? Yo, what's up, man? I ain't shit, man. Yo, DeMond, this season is a failure, bro. Yeah, it's it just, is. It there's is. no other way to put it. It's kind of like you said before. Um, like you said this earlier. If the front office tells us we're supposed to be competing for a top six seed, then there's no excuse. The team needs to be better than what it fucking is. Like that's just what it is. Right. Uh yo. I'm I'm more okay with trading Trey Young now than I think I ever was before. Mm -hmm. Just because man, I'm tired. I'm so tired of the constant mismatch on D. It's it's always a constant mismatch. Granted, DeJounte Murray couldn't stop Kobe White today. Like, yo, I understand that. But I've also seen DeJounte Murray play better defense when there's a capable or at least someone height-wise that matches up with the person next to him. Like, we've seen it. We have the proof. Damn sure could have used Vic Krejci today in his defense and his height. Why Quinn wanted to play Wesley Matthews over Mo Gay? What Mo Gay got how many minutes am on? What, two minutes, 23 seconds? Yep. What the fuck did Wesley Matthews do in his nine minutes and 39? Nothing. He wasn't effective at all. Wasn't effective at all. No. Nope. DeAndre he had a, was a minus seven. He gave you nothing. DeAndre had a fucking horrible game on offense. Horrible. But, I mean, he did hold DeMar to 22 and, like, one free throw. Well, that's because they started going to uh, Kobe White and, and DeMosu. Well, I mean, true. That's true. I mean, but he was cooking early, though. He was lighting Dre ass up early, man. I think he had, like, 18 at the half. Early he did, yeah, but he finished, like I said, he finished with 22. But, like, they did get the ball out of his hand, and Kobe White was just, Kobe White was just cooking. You allow 40 to Kobe White, you're going to lose. There's just no other way to put it, bro. There's no other way to put it. Yep, and I said that on uh, A1's pregame show. I said, watch out for Kobe White. I guess, uh... I guess Quinn Snyder chose not the game plan for this guy. Man, I, mean, I don't he know. Come back, he's a comeback player of the year, man. So I mean, well, a candidate. I so I mean, you I gotta mean, count for him. I think right now you get you got to do something, and Trey brings back the most assets easily from anyone on this team. And I don't mind Dejounte at point guard. I just don't. I think Trey, when healthy, is a better point guard. But I can do with Dejounte. I need. I need. I need other things on this team, and I'm tired of the constant mismatch on D. All right, let's go. To, let's go to Kevin. What's good, Kev? What's popping? What's your thoughts tonight, man? You muted, Kev. You muted. Am I good? Am I good? Sorry. I yeah, you good. Uh, I mean, I've seen this song and dance. Uh, I mean, it's a little different, I guess, but I mean, we've been in this play in the last three years, and you know, shit ends pretty rough, and. This was the bottom of the barrel tonight. I mean, this was really – the reality should have already been – I think it's been set in for a while on, you know, where this team is and how direct and directionless it is. Um, look, Trey Young, we got to know at this point. We've known, and I know Hawks fans, some have just feared it. We've known – the Trey Young Luca thing is a disaster. I mean, it is. I look, Trey has given us great play. I'm not saying Trey's a bad player. Trey's a great player. He is. But you had Luka Doncic. And we keep holding on to this, or some keep holding on to this. Oh, well, he made the conference finals and so on. That I'm talking about the individual player. And we know the answer. And now, and I feel Feel that's why you don't hear a lot about Trey being traded because of the whole Luca thing. And people are like, oh, we can't do that because, like, oh, we made that trade on draft night. At this point, it's got to get done because it's he's all the value you have. I mean, I think you got to package players, too. Like, DeAndre Hunter is horrible. 
And I feel you can't trade him on his own. You got to package somebody, maybe a Kongu or something. I don't know what the offseason is going to be. I, I really don't know. I have no clue. And that's my other problem. I don't have faith in the front office. Join the club. Do what's right. I, I don't have any faith. What there is nothing Landry Fields has done that has given me his. I'm not. I'm not trusting him. I mean, it is. He's been a disaster. A complete disaster. I like DeJounte Murray. Um, if he ends up being the guy and we get rid of Trey Young, I'm fine with that. You know, I, I think it's kind of similar to what, um, you know, Sacramento did when they had Halliburton and Fox. And, they, you know, they couldn't really figure that thing out. And then mm-hmm. they just pulled the plug on one of them. And sa- look at Sacramento. I mean, just last year they were a three seed. I mean – if we could be a three seed, that would be just, I'd be ecstatic. Um, but man, I don't know. It's just directionless. And uh, I really don't know what the plan is this off season. Cause it could go a hundred different ways. There are definite, pl- this team needs to be night and day different to me next year for me to have any sort of hope. We'll see how the draft goes. Um, you got to get size. I mean, you got to get size. I, yeah, that's 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 a that's a no brainer right there. It, it is. I mean, you have got to get size. But knowing them, they'll they'll mess around and go draft a damn guard. I know it's mind boggling. Where was Mo G tonight, man? What? How? I mean, you got to be kidding me. You're telling me right now that Mo G wouldn't have given the same production, if not better, than what Wesley Matthews or Hunter gave tonight. That's what I said. I I said put I said put put him in the game. I, I mean, said what what did you what did you have to lose by putting him in, putting him in the game and guarding whoever you 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 really had nothing to lose. Nobody was defending worth a damn. The whole backcourt, Kobe White had forty. Uh, Demoso had twenty something. Yeah. Uh. I mean, uh so the the backcourt dominated. Uh, Vucevic couldn't miss neither. Um, we never tried to guy named DeRozan, another dub. Yeah. So, like, you really had nothing to lose at this time. So, why not say, you know what? Hey, go out there. Let me see what I can get out of you for two minutes. What it look like? If it look good, we're gonna stick with it. When he did change the lineup, he let him stay in for four minutes. We come back, and then he puts in the subs. Yeah, I mean, again, and then Quinn Snyder, and you pointed it out, is the rotations and not sticking to one that's, you know, keeping us going. I mean, you saw early in the second quarter, I mean, the rotation we had in, I mean, it was it was clicking. And then we only had it in for, like, a small period of time. Trey Young comes back in, boom, we're right back where we were. You know, there are so many problems, but you, you just can't, figure out the answer that's why i'm saying i don't know what this offseason is gonna be I, I legit have no idea it may not be shit they might bring the same fucking team back i don't know i mean they they brought back they brought back a 41 and 41 team they brought back the same fucking team no franchises do that you don't bring a team like that back okay you win 50 games all right and you want a playoff series all right maybe you bring that team back maybe you think you can build off that you brought back a team that got that got an eight seed and was forty one and forty one. You don't do that. I, I just I don't know. I don't and know and the result doing. the the results agree with you because now yeah. we lost. Now we won, we only won thirty six games. You know who was it saying we went uh, the Landry guy? I, I just completely forgot his name. Who loves Landry Fields? You know Matt fifty game. Me yeah, Matt. 50 game, 52 games, you brought back the same fucking team who won 41 games. What'd you add? Patty Mills and Wesley Matthews. That's all you fucking added. Yep. 50 game. I don't know, man. It's it's gonna be interesting off season. It may not be anything. It may be just, you know, turn the tables, just we see like a whole new team. I don't know. And again, I have no trust in Landry Fields to get it done. But uh, All right. I, love the, I love your channel, man. And, you know, great content. And I'll definitely be following through the offseason. Yeah, we appreciate it, man. Don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. Uh, be a stranger. We got the, the the panel coming up next. What's good, Foot? Don't, don't, so don't leave. Just stay backstage, man. We're going to have an open forum. 
What's good, hey. foot? Hey man, what it is? Uh, hey, that DJ and Trey experiment is over. They can't play together. Period. All right. Mm -hmm. Period. They too small. Too small together. All right. Oh, it's your size. And I'm going to go ahead and say this. People need to stop talking about building around Trey. I'm sorry. Because the offense flows differently, right? He need to be able to – he don't play no resemblance of defense. Let's just keep it 100. Now y'all talking about all them steals he got? That's because he playing in the – playing the passing lanes in Olay. That's not one-on-one -on -one defense he's playing, all right? I'm, that's where I'm at right now. I don't understand why Moji – then get a little bit more burn. We need that length on the floor, man. Bad. Right? And, and that's what I said earlier when we talked early. What's going to determine what's going to what Quinn does with this damn lineup and rotation. All right? Quinn ball isn't it. You see, once Trey was back in the lineup, what are we doing? Four out bullshit, high pick and roll. Yep. Right? Come set and pick. No ball movement, no player movement. The same BS. Right, he he started that shit when Trey got back. So, hey, front office ain't shit, right? Front office, <laughs> we already know what it is. And what people don't realize, we're over the cap with the ten players, uh, nine to ten players we are that signed already, right? That what that we might not cut. We already over the cap. You, you're gonna cut Clint, or uh, trade him or something, right? Um. We we in the we have a debacle here. So what can we get our best return? Let's keep it 100 right now. What we can get the most return? We need a all we need a superstar, an all NBA player to start with. All right. And again, I'm not ragging on Trey. I know he hurt, but bro, Trey Ball ain't working here, bro. I'm sorry. You can talk about the Eastern Conference finally all, all you want. Everything fell in place and players stepped up when they need to step up. But I'm tired of this shit here, yeah, bro. You know, so we need to we need to make some serious changes, man. Um, that's all I got for now. All right, foot. Let's go to Matt. What's good, Matt? I mean, oh my God. I mean, from daring it on down, it just made no sense to me, right? We're talking about defense, and every single Bulls starter had at least 20 points, right? We're talking about defense and Trey's defense, and yet DeJounte Murray gave up 42 points to Derek White, okay? So, I mean, if anybody defense was a problem, if anybody defense was, you know, the catalyst for our loss, it's, it's DJ's defense against Derek White. So who was, who was, who was, Trey, who was, who was Trey guarding tonight? AO, who had, I think, what did AO points. had tonight? What, 22 points? Okay. So him and Trey, can, him and Trey canceled each other out. Bro, okay? Trey was not, meanwhile, Trey, was not a, Trey wanted to factor offensively tonight, man. Let's be real. Me, meanwhile, Co meanwhile, Kobe White had 42. And he Where was Trey Young at, Matt? Of that. Matt. What, wait, come on, 25 or 27 of that what came in the second half. Matt. You know what I'm saying? Go so back. let's go back to game, Matt. Let's go to game six. Remember what you told me? What? Uh, how could Trey gave me twenty five in the first half? Where was Murray? Mm -hmm. Where was Trey I Young? Trey, I think Trey. I think I think Trey Young had twenty two points after the first quarter. I think he had twenty two points after the first quarter. He had ten points in the third quarter. So I mean, so, he was playing better so as the game went on. What did he have tonight? He didn't have that tonight. Yeah, he had he had ten points in the third quarter tonight, bro. He how many he play, points? How many points he have in the yeah. first half? Uh, eight, I think. How many Seven turnovers he have? How many turnovers he have in the first half? He had five, but four of them were in the first quarter, and he didn't turn the ball so over one more time points, the rest of the game. So eight points in the first half. How many points in the second half? One, uh, eight. Uh, what is that? Fourteen. That, Fourteen points in the second half. That's enough for. So that's that's good enough for you. It was good enough for Murray. Second half last year to talk. No, it wasn't because to. you were dragging on Murray about it. So y'all, y'all, I said for y'all, y'all said it was. Yeah, I told you Murray showed up in the second half. Yeah, and, and he didn't. showed up with fourteen points. Trey Young showed up with fourteen. points. So I'm paying forty million 
for that production yeah. that just got tonight. But Demond, we didn't lose because of offense. We lost because, like I said, Dejounte Murray gave up forty two points. When the last you, time? What's our record against Darian? The Bulls how about you, Darian, Foot, Kevin? Y'all all neglected. This What's our mention. record against the Bulls that. this year, man? Okay. What we one three. One and one and four. One and four. But Demond, what's, like, the, what's so, the difference, Matt? How do I, Demond? How do I, oh, what's so, the, so let's, Demond, let's, how do I, Demond? So let's start there, right? So let's start with the backcourt, right? The back, both of the, neither one of the guys in the backcourt play defense. And I've been saying this the last three weeks. If I'm going to, if my shooting guard is not going to play defense, I might as well go get the guy that can give me 50 in the backcourt with Trey. If neither one Rob, of them my is point guard, defense. my point guard, not, my point guard don't play defense neither. I just said to my if neither one of my point and neither one of my guards is going mm -hmm. to play defense and the guy next to him isn't going to play defense my shooting guard I might as well have two guys that can give me fifty two guys well, that I can don't give me well 30. how come I didn't get how come I get thirty tonight I mean Demond you you saw I mean he clearly was hobbled with the injury now, I mean, why, the, why is he the playing telecast. he probably shouldn't play Demond but that's how bad we are as an overall team no that's it's not how much he means the only to time, us Matt, he needs to play the only for us time to have a fighting chance Matt. The only time we beat the Bulls this year, guess who wasn't playing? Demond, one game where Vic Krejci had 18 points? No. The three games, the three games yeah, we lost to the points. Bulls. The three games we lost to the Bulls, guess who was playing? Demond. You Demond, you can't watch the game tonight and tell me all year. Y'all been harping on defense, 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 right? I went to this game. Didn't this show game up all year. Y'all been harping on defense, defense, defense. Tonight. Y'all boy get smoked like a turkey on Thanksgiving, and now y'all want to flip over to the offensive side of the ball. No, we got to stay consistent. Keep the no. same energy. No, no, the did defense, nobody flip? Nobody, Matt, the, nobody the disagreed with that point. Was awful. But nobody brought – I, I, mean, I, 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 I didn't hear your intro all the way, but I, I haven't heard it so far. I haven't heard it this no, far. No one – Matt, who it? Disagree? Darian didn't mention it. When you, Matt, when you said he was bad, did, 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 did I didn't disagree with what you just said. No, I said I didn't hear your intro, but I'm saying so. I'm talking about the people, the panelists that had come on thus far. Well, no, None I'm asking you. I'm asking you why Trey and Hunter didn't show up tonight. Yeah, I mean Trey. I need you to hold them it. accountable tonight. I, I, I will. I'm, I'm saying, but I wanted to set that foundation first. That I think every single Chicago Bulls starter had at least 20 points. So it's not about, and then obviously Derek White had 42, but. It's not about this guy's defense or that guy's defense. It's about the team's defense. They just didn't play good defense tonight as a team. I mean, guys got to the lane. We blinked. You know what I'm saying? Guys were at the rim. Un un not scared of Capella at all. I mean, challenging him every single play. Okay? Blowing right past him. So the defense as a whole isn't, isn't there. Offensively, I think we struggled in the first half because – one, we couldn't we couldn't get to the rim. We couldn't penetrate. And I told you this morning, we needed to penetrate the rim. I needed Trey to get off to a hot start because he's the only one that attacks the rim consistently and puts pressure on the rim. It could get their guards in foul trouble. But you know, we we just didn't do that tonight. Our our shooting was awful. What you mean we didn't do that tonight? We started off getting our points in the paint early. Our first no. uh eight points was points in the paint. But I'm saying, like after that, in the first quarter, like our three ball wasn't hitting. Um, Bogey right. was terrible. Um, Dre was bad. Um, you know, I don't know if it was because he was focusing so much energy defensively on on Demar. I don't know why he was so bad tonight. But I'm going to choose to ch I'm going to ch to choose to pick the other four years of Hunter where he his play goes up in the playoffs. His average regular season average improves in the playoffs over the last four years. So I'm just so going to say you tonight that was a. So Hunter didn't yeah, do Hunter was bad. Tonight. Hunter Hunter was bad tonight. But Demar overall, like, you know, I'm not. I told you, well, I wouldn't be upset if we lost. Now, I mean, it was a little embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie to give up the to, to play defensively the way that we play, and then to look so stagnant offensively the way that we did. That was a little embarrassing, um, no doubt. But overall, Demar, I'm not terribly. Upset like this positions us well. We're going to guarantee a top 10 pick. Um, you know, can get some real size. Um, I think DeJounte has increased his trade value. Um, you want to talk about a guy that can get us something? I think DeJounte can get us something in the, in, the, in the market, especially with that Kings pick if they win tomorrow. 
I mean, not tomorrow, Friday, that pick is going to convey. So, you know, DJ plus that pick, I think that could go out and go get you a good wing in the offseason. And then I'm looking at the shooting guard position, whether we can get Zach Levine or we can go get another dynamic two guard. Um, you know, I was looking to get maybe DeSumo, you know, before this game, you know, at, at the two. Something, you know, obviously I would prefer Levine, somebody of a star caliber, you know what I'm saying, somebody that can – equal trade consistently and then um the wing i'm fine with drake coming off the bench and going out and going to go get a more dynamic wing player um jj obviously is cool but you know he got to develop um develop a handle develop a half court game develop moves in the half court and then a center position we have to upgrade that in the draft okay whether my preference is khalil Ware or you know if you want to tell me another center that's out there that we can get uh, Nicholas Claxton, somebody. And then obviously we still have a Kongwu um, that's coming back from injury. So, I mean, the roster needs major upgrades. Um, I'm happy, if anything, that Tony Ressler was sitting right there um, at courtside, right by the Hawks bench, so he could see this up close and personal, that we need to spend money, and he needs to allow Landry to go into the tax to improve the roster. You know, we need some structural changes to the roster. None of this, like, a bench guy here, you know, a, a, a guy, a flex guy here that can start sometimes and, sit, you know, be a six-man other times. We need real guys, serious starters that's consistent every uh -huh. single night. Let me roll that's with That's what uh, we need. Uh, let me go to Pharaoh. What's good, Pharaoh? What's good? Um... So one guy, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break out the classics, you know, do the oldest but goodies. One guy had played 42 minutes and had eight points. One guy played 13 minutes and had eight points. <laughs> one guy name is Garrison Matthews. One guy name is DeAndre Fucking Hunter. Mm. Look, this was, this what we should trade him for. I open bag of hot Cheetos. Get rid of him. Get rid of Hunter. I'm sick of it. I tried. I tried. I tried. Yo, I tried. I can't do it no more. I tried. Um, Matt been trolling DJ all year long about this dim star. Well, two years about this dim star. Come to find out the actual dim star is Trey. Why didn't he show up tonight? Mm. Somebody. Matt, mm. Matt, you told me. Matt, you said, you said once his team carried him back into it, he was going to light up. I didn't see uh, that. Shots fired arrow. I did not see that. Um, the, the, I don't trust Landry to do shit with no fucking tenth overall well, top ten pick. He'll probably pick a fucking guard again. Mm. Quinn, y'all say I'd be too hard on him, but bro, them fucking rotations are horrid. He just be pulling people willy nilly at random times. Oh, I guess it's time for you to come out, even though you cooking. I'm gonna pull you out. I'm gonna put this person in. Oh, hold on. Speaking of that, I'm, I want to quote Stephen A. Smith at halftime. Matt, Stephen A. Smith said, there's no, there's an obvious reason why the Hawks came back because Trey was on the bench. How you like that? Uh, How do you like that? You uh -oh. kept telling me you always, and see, I don't want to make it seem like I hate Trey, but you just why the first person name you bring up was DJ? DJ had what thirty? No. Yes, uh, Kobe was going off for him, but you act like Dre did anything or Trey did Murray, anything. Murray, Murray, was only, Murray was only minus six. But see, he minus. but the guys he like, he ain't never got no smoke for. But people he don't like, it's all it's all they fault. Mm. Wh who else name did he bring up other than DJ? I can't remember not one. That's it. Uh, Cause Hunter, Hunter tried. Oh, he didn't say that right now, but early he was talking. About, well, Hunter tried his best, nigga. I heard you say somebody tried their best all year. This team ain't it. It just they got to do. We need we too damn small. They showed that they showed that night. They've been showing that all year, but this team too small. Um, the defense don't be there. It's it come and go too much. I ain't saying everybody got to be no damn lockdown defender, but everybody need to play defense. I, nobody want no guy. Zach Levine ain't no goddamn starter match, Trey. Hell, is Trey still a star? He a damn star. 
Um, Wait, who a dim star? Trey, that's who he he been trolling Ooh. DJ. He been trolling DJ all two for two years. The real dim star is Trey. He didn't show up tonight. Oh, you letting you letting it off the night, Pharaoh? Okay? Yeah, because Matt was Matt was on that bullshit earlier, and I'm just cooking him. This really ain't got nothing shit to do with Trey. This Matt. Um, but Trey didn't show up. That was horrible. If he wasn't gonna play, if he was gonna play like that, he could have. I mean, I guess he did have ten assists, but that was bad. He didn't show up. All um, right, Farrell, let's move on. Yeah, keep going, but Matt know what time it is. All right, that's the homeboy Farrell. Let's go to Hag Solo in the building. What's good, my guy? What's going on, y'all? It would have been a long ride home if it wasn't for you guys, man. So thank you, Demond, for all you did this season. Because I got a long ride home after this loss. Getting off work. With a job town and we put up that performance, man. Great job to Landry and Quinn for a still tank job. Kudos. Now, can you get us a good quality pick in that lottery? I highly doubt it, man. Piggybacking off of Farrell. I don't think I don't have the confidence that our front office can do the evaluation needed, the scouting needed to get us the pieces that we need to compete next year. But I will say, on um, if I had to choose between who I was gonna let go in that backcourt. I got to ride with the generational talent. I got to stick with Trey. He's not a dim star. Yes, he did bad today, but I'm not about to have uh, recency bias. And I love Murray. I love Murray, but you can't give up that kind of talent like that unless we're getting something equal or more in return. You know, um, I do feel like a change needs to be had in the backcourt. We do need a legit scoring ball guard. And I think Murray will be a great starting point guard for damn near any team. But I would rather have to build around Trey, man, I'm not giving up on that, man. Has DJ led a team to the Eastern Conference Finals? Yes, he's been, but he's never led the team there. Uh, I can't give up on that kind of talent. I mean, we all, we all been there. We haven't had a superstar talent since Dominique. We've had a couple of guys come close, and Joe or whatever, and a Millsap, but, but we've you, never but had. Let me ask you this. Are you worried about having a superstar, mm -hmm. or are you worried about having people that's going to win games? I want to win the team. And I do believe they can build a winner around Trey. We had the vision with Slink. They cut Slink. So, I mean, the onus falls on the front office and the ownership. They cut bait with uh, Slink. They didn't follow his vision. He told them trading for Murray was an overpay. He probably was against the trade in the first place. But Landry got his way. Or not Landry. Uh, Nick Wrestler got his way. I want a winner. I don't care about superstar. I'm, I'm just like you, man. I'm a Hawks fan through and through, man. I want a winner. But I do believe that. If we had the right people around Trey, I do feel like they could uh, succeed and uh, become a top three contending seed in the East, man. It just hasn't panned out. We no longer dominate the play in. We are regressing, and a change must be had, you know. Uh, um, the Matthews brothers, they got to go. I mean, I better, would have rather kept Patty Mills over them. And the fact that they didn't play Mo Gay but a few, a couple of minutes was ridiculous, you know. It seemed like it was a stealth tank job, man, but – we had some good pieces, but they are not. It's not working together, bro. A change has to. If they trade, trade, and we got a good return, it's gonna break a lot of kids' hearts in the city and then Hawks fan base. But if we can get a good return, I'm with it. But if it was up to me, I would choose to trade Murray. He's up this trade value. Trey is hurt, man. You know he came back early. You know I'm not about to just throw him with the. And no, I don't feel like Luca's that much better than him. Luca didn't make the playoffs last year. He didn't make the play in last year. They got a top 10 pick. And look at him now. They rolling. He has a Hall of Fame player in the backcourt with him. We don't have that. Man, people need to stop comparing it. Like, it's, uh, everything is, uh, you know what I'm saying? Everything is equal. It's not. We don't have a Kyrie Irving in the backcourt. We don't have. That fall on your front you know? office, hat. Huh? What yeah, you, bro. What, what makes you think they're gonna go out and get a a a, a, a talent level <laughs> of a Kyrie? Man, I have no faith and confidence that they're gonna do that, man. Unfortunately, man. And I feel like uh, sabotage, self sabotage was what happened when they got rid of Slink, man. I, I was against that from the jump when he forced them out, and that's been a a, a slow uh, downhill spiral since then. We let go of talent for pennies on the dollar. We held on to people too long. And, you know, I mean, we overpaid some people. I mean, I have no faith or confidence that they're going to do that. 
this off season is gonna be real interesting, man. I just hope that I don't think wrestlers gonna trade trade. Even if y'all feel like it's the best move, he's about that money, man. He's not about to trade him, man. <laughs> I don't see it happening. But if it makes the team better, I'm with it, man. Cause I do feel like they need to build around JJ to a certain extent, man. But mm -hmm. if I had to choose in that backcourt who I was gonna move, unfortunately, it'll be Murray because he has that dog, man. He got that dog in him. Pause. No Diddy, and you know, uh, I feel like he's just not working, man. That experiment is over, passed over, and um, uh, it was a horrible game, but I feel like it was a, a tank game. They mailed it in, man. I feel like they mailed it in, not signing V. That was a, a obvious tank move. Uh, not playing Mo Gay. If you're not gonna, you know, if you're not playing to win, just play the youth. I don't understand the coach either, like y'all said. His rotations were atrocious, and the onus is on all the guys to step up in that on that backcourt on defense, man. Trey did horrible. He thinks it's Optimus Grimes. Him just going for steals, mm -hmm. that ain't going to do it, man. You know, I mean, he's going to have to step it up, man, next year or be moved. I don't want to move him, but and I don't want to concede that Luka's better because he hasn't won anything yet. He's having a better year this year by far, and his team has better success. You know, maybe that's what we're doing, taking the page from their book, took a step back, get a couple of picks. Hopefully that Kings pick will convey. But I don't trust the front office like everybody's saying, man. That's the conundrum that we're in, man. I don't trust the – we need a real GM up in there. Are they going to do that? We need a real GM with vision. We lost Ferry because of the uh, racist comments. We lost uh, our swing because of the internal uh, infighting. They're going to have to sign a new GM, bro. If not – you're not a fan of mm -hmm. Landry Field Hawks DNA? <laughs> Man, I've been clowning that all season, bro. <laughs> Heck no. So Matthews is Hawks DNA? Bro, that's what ridiculous, that? man. Yeah, bro. I was clowning that all year. He never defined what Hawks DNA is. Man, we need some winners, man, on both sides of the ball. If you're going to build around Trey, they did it all wrong, man. You know, it is what it is, bro. Nah, I, I'm not a fan of the Hawks DNA comments. I'm not a fan of Landry. I feel like you know he's not that strong visionary that we need in our front in our front office. We need a strong visionary. He was mediocre in the in the league. We need some winners, bro. Period. That's and Swink I... was a winner with Golden State. Yep. Y'all, I'm, I'm gonna hang up and listen, man. Y'all be good, bro. All right, Hack. Appreciate you for tapping in, my guy. Appreciate you. All right, we got Ryan with the trash can on his head. Sign of a bro. Record. Was good, my guy. Talk to me. I couldn't find a paper bag, but this this shit I got on my head definitely fits what we played like tonight. And also, I can't agree with my man that just got on just now. That last take where he said he didn't want to get he would get rid of Murray before he get rid of Trey is just as trash as that. And I'm gonna say this here, Matt. Your takes deserve to be in this damn trash can tonight, dog. His ass is mine tonight, bro. For a little bit, I'm just gonna call it for like I see it. We got, we just took a good old fashioned ass whipping tonight. Grandma's Lysol couldn't even wash that shit out. We just got cooked, period. And if you look at everything that happened tonight, if he's hurt, you can't sit there and play. You know, if Trey's hurt that bad, he should have sat his ass home. Yeah, he was hitting hitting shots at the free throw line, but look, you got it, you play with it. I don't want to hear no excuse. You was out there. It is what it is. Back. DJ cooked. DJ played piss poor on defense. I'm not gonna sit there and put. I'm not gonna sit there and act like he didn't. But he still dropped thirty and kept us in the ball game offensively. But defensively, he had a bad night. That experiment is over with, just like everybody is saying. But at the same time, everybody's got such a love affair with Trey. Why don't you start looking at the deficiencies? Stephen A. called that out, and I don't even look. I don't even really vibe with Stephen A. like that. But he was telling the truth. DeJounte kept us in this ball game and Clint Capella. Let's keep it a buck. Yeah. DeAndre Hunter, again, I shout out to my guy White Mike because White Mike been on, on Hunter's, you know, for years since he's been here. And DeAndre Hunter was piss poor. Awful. You get eight points. Bruh, I'm going to tell you like this, bruh. You might as well just go ahead and pack your shit and carry your monkey ass back to Philly, right where you from. And actually learn how to play again. Go to the playgrounds and actually play with kids with heart. Because your monkey ass damn sure ain't do nothing tonight. You sat there and literally watched people go by your face without playing. You know, and, it, and it's just sad, you know. 
And I said this on the pregame show with uh, Chris. I told you that Kobe White was going to be a problem if they let him get hot. And you see what happened. DJ had something to contribute to that, but I'm just going to say it just like this, man. It's just what it is, dog. I'm at that point where it's just, it, it, it's like he got to go. I don't give a damn about your feelings or whatever. Look, if we can let Dominique Wilkins go, and Dominique was a hell of a lot better of a player than Trey Young, we got damn sure can let Trey go. And I go back. I'm old school. I tell you like it is, dog. Trey got to go. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. Y'all enamored with the six years of that 25 and 10. I get it. But here's the thing. When are, when are we actually going to win something? When are we actually just like – now, one thing I agree with Hack said was we need a better GM. We got a GM that don't want to go on a luxury tax. We got a GM that don't want to spend money. He doesn't want to bring anybody in here that's going to rock the boat. I'm like this. We need more dogs in this team on this team. Too many pussycats over here. There's too many pussycats on this team. We need more dogs out here. And for us to get embarrassed the way that we did to a team like that, yeah, we were hurt, but at the same time, we still could have won that game, period. We still could have won that game. And, you know, you want to try to keep Trey happy or whatnot. Man, you see that he's ineffective. Sit his ass down. You see that we had a flow going when we sat him down, defensively and offensively. I mean, hey, it, this, one's, this one's on Quinn because, look – if Quinn can't get it together, just like the slow, just like I say in the bird cage LLC, you either get right or you get left. Quinn need to get his ass left right to the side of the road. I'm gonna keep that a hundred. I'm I'm tired of this losing shit. You know the same way you come, the same way you come into the bird cage on Sundays when the Falcons lose or whatnot. I'm feeling just like you right now. I'm at that point like, hey, I'm a fan today. I'm not even a host. I'm a fan. I'm just tired of the BS. The only team that's holding the city down right now is the Braves. And I'm going to keep that a book. And right now, we got to see what the Falcons going to do because we got new management. We pretty much got new management, a new head coach. And we obviously see that this Hawks project didn't work with a brand new head coach. Now, and 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 I said Quinn was a bad hire from the start. We should have hired your boy from Boston. They got in trouble for for tap, for um clapping them cheeks of that executive at, um, at his old job. Your boy, you doka. Mm -hmm. I said that was the guy that should have been here. Because that team that's in Boston, he built that squad. And the man understands basketball. So if you want to look at it, you didn't want to bring him here because you didn't want any kind of bad publicity. I'm like this. The hell with bad publicity. Bring somebody in here who can win, who knows how to coach, who knows how to use the bench, who knows how to scout and look at players. You know, it, it, it's just piss poor, you know, when you look at what we have now. So at this point, at this point of the game, dog, I'm I'm sick. But Matt, your ass is just as tra trash as the game was tonight. We need to trade your ass. We need to trade your ass and Trey ass, dog. I, I stand, I stand ten toes down on that. That's shout. Go ahead and bring the next person in tomorrow. All right, my guy, Ron. Thanks for tapping in, my guy. We got Kool Aid in the building. What's good, Kool Aid? Hey, what's going on, man? Shit. Hey, hey, you know. You know what? Uh, first I'm gonna say fire Landry before you start to rebuild. Rebuild the team, but you got to fire Landry first. Okay. You got me. Now, yep. I, and before the game started, now you saw what I what I had with texting in and y'all in y'all thing earlier when I was saying that uh I had a I I said that 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 they would that what I heard Trey was gonna do was try to play their game. And I thought that was going to be a problem. Second, I said, Hunter should not start or Bogey should not start. He did it on the way. So when you got a coach that, and then the coach didn't show no heart in his rotation, he was scared to pull a trigger on his rotation. So, and, and, and as for Trey, I mean, it's, it's a bad mojo in Atlanta for Trey. I was going back and forth at the party with guys, man. When, when mm -hmm. at, at the end of that half, when Trey was coming down, I was saying, shoot it like I always see you shoot that logo shot, Trey. Dude in front of me talking about, don't shoot it, Trey, don't shoot it. See, that's bad mojo, man. I've been seeing Trey, the first shot I ever seen Trey shoot was a logo shot. To win the game, he was doing that a lot. But now this man don't even know where to shoot. 
pass. And then the night, he only shot the ball 12 times. I mean, like, he he can't change. He, he can't. I don't know if you're going to win with Trey, you got to let him be who he is. If y'all can't let him be who he is, he might well leave. Now, as my, 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 as what I see, you got Detroit Pistons. I saw Detroit Pistons come out to Trey. They said a little thing about looking for Trey. Lakers, San Antonio, you got a lot of teams want Trey. But they got to understand they got to let Trey be Trey. Trey is a, is a like you said, he's a volume shooter, but he still averaged 25 and 10. That means he he shares the ball enough with his rapid shooting. So whoever get him got to understand they got to let Trey be Trey. When Trey be Trey, he mm-hmm. he was he always 40, he always 25 and 10. In the last three games, when they told Trey not to shoot the ball, try to blend in. And you go back and look at the games before, we beat the Lakers, we beat Curry. And he had, and we literally had L.A. Clippers on 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 now. When Trey averaged about thirty points, they were letting Trey shoot the ball. Trey got to shoot the ball, but it's bad mojo. And I think that it ain't gonna be Landry call. It's gonna be Trey call, and they're gonna be an agreement. And Trey gonna gonna want to leave, leave leave here. And go play somewhere else. It, it's just a bad mojo now. Fans don't like him. I heard what, what the media said. Ninety two nine zone said about him before the game started. Like I say, I'm going back and forth with the guys. There, I'm like, when they like, what's wrong with Trey? I say, I say, did you not see that Trey should have shot that? They he, they bagged up off him and he didn't shoot it. He looking the pass. Did you see that again? Trey didn't shoot it. He looking the pass again. I said, did you see that? I'm like, that's the mindset they got him in. So you're not going to get the real Trey, the real Eastern Conference Trey. Please stand up wherever you go. And Shaq told Trey, whatever you do, don't let nobody change you. Trey is a logo Trey. He's been logo Trey since high school. He's been logo Trey since college. And he was when he started this, when he started with the Hawks, he was logo Trey all the way through the Eastern Conference final. And now all of a sudden, nobody wanted to shoot and be Trey. So we're not going to get no – it's going to be a long road back. going to be a whole new rebuild. going to be a whole new tank. So everybody who talking about want to win, historian talking about want to win, y'all might want to gird up for a long, long time, if you're a Hawk fan, to try to get to, to a winning thing. Trey Young was the closest thing. That's why I just was a fan of him because I felt he was the closest thing that got me got me close to a championship. And I felt that he had another chance. But when all that that Kabaka went on with Landry and Travis and all that kind of stuff and bringing in bad players and bringing in bad coaches and all of that, that's the end. You can't 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 nobody don't nobody need to be standing up under that. Nobody. All right, cool. Now, I'm just going to say like that. One more thing. Then I'm going to let you go. Hey, Hunter, Bogey, when I say them guys, they got them guys bad, man. They're, them guys bad, especially Hunter, man. And Clint Capella, did, did he block a shot? Did he block a shot? Clint? Did Clint Capella block a shot? I don't think so. And, you know, and, and, I mean, how you not block one no, he, shot that there's no Kobe White Bogey coming had, out on you? Bogey had our only two blocks tonight. Bogey had. See, and Clint, 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 then, then blah. No shot, man. All that, all that people, all them coming at the board at him. And then block, not one shot. That's not Clint, that's not the old Clint Capella. So that lets you know Clint Capella is gone. So all right, cool, that's lady. it, man. That's all I got you to say, man. I, I see if I can hang into the back a little I bit. I need to get to, I need to get to the garage, bro. I need to get to the garage. Shout out Larry from the Dixon Way in the building. Make sure you follow my guy channel, Larry. I mean the Dixon Way. Shout out, John. John, once again, telling us don't drink the Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid. What's good with you, Larry? Embarrassing loss, man. Embarrassing way to end the season, man. You ain't even wearing you wearing your brave shit. <laughs> yeah, I just went and put this on after the game. I was like, 
It's going to take that off the season. Let me, win. His, let me get his old dirty mojo off me. My, basically, let's go and talk about a winner. <laughs> but, um, uh, oh, yeah, if you want to get a nice fit like this, go ahead and go on to Fanatics and click on our QR code so you can look as sharp as I do. Yeah, holler at, at Larry, man. Uh, if you if you shopping for fanatics, holler at Larry, man. Where they find that code at? It's on your it's on your YouTube page. It's on my page, man. Yeah, it's on the YouTube page. Type in, go to in the, the Dixon way, like man. That. If you going if you fucking with uh, what's it called? Fan fanatics. Fanatics, yeah, fanatics. I'm sure y'all probably yeah. don't want, want to buy no hawk shit right now, but the exactly. Braves. Let's not put this on. <laughs> Braves uh, swept Houston, but let's talk about the game. Uh. Uh, shout out to A1 Forever. I was on there with Ryan also, uh, with you. And we talked about uh, who I said was going to be the X Factor. I said Quinn, straight face. Um, didn't I say that the rotation was going to get cut down to about seven to eight? It got cut down to seven to eight. Yeah, and I thought he, I thought he was going to at least go nine. Man. I mean, go nah, nine. He got there, down to but... seven to eight. And the only reason he got to eight is because he put in Wesley Matthews for some reason. And then one time with Mo Gate, which Mo Gate paid two minutes, so I really don't count that. Uh, DeAndre Hunter, uh, I got a question for you, Demond. Outside of three teams, the Hawks, the Wizards, and the Pistons, who would DeAndre Hunter play for in the NBA? I'm asking for a friend. Well, he said, who would he said DeAndre him, Hunter start in the NBA? The only team that DeAndre Hunter can start in the NBA for is the Hawks, the Wizards, and the Pistons. Name another team. I want the chat to do it too. Not the not the Charlotte Hornets because they have Brandon Miller and Miles Bridges. Say another team. I ain't got one. You for can't you. think of one. You can't think of one because it's not. Our number four pick is Dudu. Uh, and you know what? A lot of people are laying praise or stuff like this. Travis Slank, understand he did not want to uh, to trade for DeJounte. Like, it was too much. He liked DeJounte. He just didn't want to trade as much as we did. The real problem is, is nobody wants to admit the real problem is Travis Slank pretty much ruined this team when he drafted DeAndre Hunter and Cam Reddish. We was doomed there. The architect of trying to build around Trey Young failed from the door. We can also say that we all need to admit as Hawks fans that that 2021 run was a fluke. We all need to take a deep breath and admit that was a fluke. No Mitchell Robinson. We know that Mitchell Robinson, when he plays against the Hawks, he dominates Clint Capella. I'm not even blaming Clint Capella for this game. He had 22 and 17, one of the best games he had in his career. I'm not blaming anything on this game on, on Clint Capella. Trey Young is a two. Cannot build around him. I'm in 100 agreements with Becky Hammonds now. In this era of basketball, it's just too hard to build around a six foot, five eleven point guard. You have to get everything right. Trey Young is a generational talent in the wrong generation. I repeat, Trey Young is a generational talent in the wrong generation. When you have DeJounte Murray, who is the actual smallest size that you want your point guards now in today's age. Mm -hmm. DeJounte Murray got cooked. At least he scored. But defensively, everyone on the Hawks was horrendous. Absolutely everyone. The only reason Bowie got blocked because it was looking like it was charges. Those were the blocks. He didn't get any clean blocks. Right, right. And they were hunting him for the entire game. They were hunting him and DeJounte or um, Dre Hunter the entire game. So, again, when I said Vic Chrysler was the best perimeter defense on here, I had people like Matt laugh at me. Oh, you just overhyping it. But well, it came to fruition because of his length. Yeah, I'm not saying he's a lockdown, all-world defender. I'm just saying his length and his feet caused him to be a, a hard player to shoot over, you know? And that's what we needed against Kobe White. Kobe White would look like Kobe Bryant tonight against us. 
We had no perimeter defense. DeAndre Hunter came out there. He got some. DeJounte, he was cooking him the whole fourth quarter when they switched. It did not matter, guys. So, again, this team is flawed. Trey Young is not at one. He's at two. I said this before. People scoffed at it. He's at two in the elk of Kyrie Irving. The fact that Kyrie Irving knows he's a two now. Trey Young's in that situation where Kyrie was, but he hasn't won a championship when he wanted to leave LeBron because he thought he was a number one. He's not a number one. Not in today's basketball. He's not. He's just not. So yeah, he'll be a perfect number two. But again, are we going to hope that Jalen Johnson turned into it? And now he got fragile. Um, ankles. I'm of the I'm of the heart and mind right now, man. That uh, the Hawks need to blow it up. All right, y'all hear that from right. Blair? Let's go to Jamal. What's yeah. good, my guy? What's up, man? How y'all doing? You good? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Atlanta I'm Hawks will do it to you. Every right. time. I'm gonna go in this garage. Well, actually, Ooh. when we get to the forum, I'm going to the garage, bro. Oh got- man. I'm surprised I'm this. I'm, I'm I'm surprised I'm this calm and relaxed, man. To be honest, man, it it's tough, man. I the worst the worst part about it is you want to blame so many people. I think it's honestly just the organization's fault, man. Um, yeah. just not being able to put the right people around Trey. Because it's been six years now, we're still talking about the same thing: putting the right yeah. people, putting yeah. help. I mean, you know, how long are we gonna get this front office? You know, I, I don't know. Front office, I I'm don't gonna say know. ownership, cause they've been it? here the whole time. Tony Wrestling now. If you ain't, if you ain't, I mean, of course, what star? I don't know any star teams that's that's winning winning championships with just one star or one all star. We've only had one all star. Trey has never had a running mate. Now I will also say this: I think the funny thing is that people don't understand that Trey is Trey been wanting to get out for a while. He, it just don't look good on him. To, to publicly say anything. There's no reason why you're not, there's a reason why you're buying a place in California. And, you know, he's shown a lot of poor body language, especially over these past couple couple years. Like he don't want to play. He don't get his teammates involved enough. I think he also stunted the growth of a lot of these player, these players on our team. So we get on like a DeAndre Hunter, but he hasn't had the opportunity to work on this game because if it's Trey, Trey's ball so ball dominant, you know? But to be mm-hmm. honest, I, I think I think I would prefer to see him go and, and go to another team and build around DJ only because DJ, you could tell when you watch and I go to a lot of games, DJ got that dog in him. Like mm-hmm. you can see like he don't like losing. He he play hard, you know, and Quinn got to figure it out, too, because you can't be playing these guys 40 or 42 minutes a game. You can't be. End of the season, we're not playing for nothing, and you still playing your starters. I didn't understand that at all. I'm so like, they want to trade to get that assist record last, the last game against the Pacers. I would have ran, I would have ran with Trey, but I probably would have benched everybody else. Trey can get 11 assists if he, they, they weren't winning those games anyway, and those games didn't matter. Mm-hmm. But I was hoping. You know, I think Trey does. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and bash Trey. Trey got that next level to him, but he don't have nobody. He needs a big. He needs like a, a Rudy Gobert or Anthony Davis, somebody who's big, who's seven foot, whatever, playing really good defense to kind of cover his mistakes. But outside of that, man, I can't blame. I can't blame the players. It's the organization, man. Every and the funniest thing is, we all know what should happen, but we know what's gonna happen. What happens every year? We don't do. We won't do nothing. The, the first thing they're gonna do, they're gonna see them. They're gonna start to share his salary. Yeah, yeah. And if you think about it too, it's smart to get rid of Trey because we are paying him so much money. Forty million. So, exactly. So it's, in my opinion, man. I think, you know, we tried everything else. Trey is the last piece. We we blow up the team in a way to where if we don't lose everybody. I would get rid of like Hunter. And, the only reason I might consider getting rid of Capella is because he's all getting older. I think he's about to be 30, what, 32 or something like that. But he, he doesn't give you any uh, offense. Uh, Clint, he, Clint, 30. 30? Okay, he's 30? Yeah. So you can probably get another, like, two or three years out of him. But if, to be he honest, have, I'm looking – He don't have no lift no more, man. He barely can jump. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking for, for people 
I'm not looking for every because I feel like our offense is too is definitely built around Trey in the sense of like nobody can create their own shot. Trey does everything, distributes. I'm looking for people who can go put the ball in the basket. About two or two, two or three guys. And we need to develop Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson looked like he, man, he his game, his game looked like the people I play at LA Fitness with. <laughs> the only difference is he athletic and he's six, whatever. That man ain't got no moves or nothing. He played like a rookie. And I understand that he young, but we got to properly develop these guys and get Trey. Let Trey go to L.A. Let him go to San Antonio, wherever he want to go. Build around DJ. Get you, get you, go get Carl Anthony Towns. Somebody, somebody who can put the ball in the basket. I'll even take Mikel Bridges at this point. And then we, we, we work with that team and figure out what we need throughout the season. And then that's how it is. Uh, that's all we got to do, in my opinion. But we we definitely need – I don't know. So we need to get somebody in there to 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 really run this team because I don't know what's going on. Either that or just sell the team because I'm tired. I'm tired. Fact. I'm tired. I mean, you, know, you know how disappointed it is to, like, not – man, I love – man, I don't even know I know it's hard for us to, like, get far in the playoffs i still enjoy the atlanta hawks getting to the playoffs and seeing them go against the team but this is the first year in a while i ain't, i don't even know if i even want to watch the playoffs oh i don't watch the playoffs <laughs> you just watch the land <laughs> i think i'm i watch like a couple game of the finals but i don't watch like the rest of the play i don't watch it yeah that just that just me i don't really watch it i'll watch like close out games in the finals but yeah i ain't watching none of this shit yeah, so I mean that's all I got. It really just comes down to the organization. They gotta. I'm not gonna say they gotta figure it out. They just need. If, if nothing's gonna change until they decide, you know, we really want to be taken serious and we want, really want to win game. I'm sure Tony Wrestler probably feels that way, but he don't really know what he's doing. Yeah, he's just out here spending money, making money. Happy that Trey can fill seats. They just happy that we can fill seats in arenas and yeah, and swag stuff. surf. Yeah, and swag swag surf and get some shirts that yeah. come from the ceiling and and you know it's just at this point, man, it's like y'all if y'all really want to be taken serious, y'all gotta do make make decisions. Yeah, like, it's gonna be some hard, hard decisions gotta be made, man. And yeah. Let's see, let's see what they do, man. But we'll let's see, go to we'll Mary see. and Jay, and then we're gonna have an open forum, my guys. Stay backstage for me. All right, brother. Appreciate you. And we got Marion in the building. Disappointed, on, Disappointed, bro. Not even disappointed yes, that we lost. Disappointed that we got blown out. Disappointed that we got blown out. Disappointed that that we didn't look good. Um, it, it was embarrassing at the end, and and hopefully, uh, it was embarrassing to the point that some change is going to happen. Um, yeah, you know, Tony but, Russell was there, right? Hey, he need he needed to see it up close. He needed to see up close what his team looked like. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I I agree with Jamal that um, we haven't we haven't built around Trey really ever, um, not in a meaningful way. Um, but at the same time, I I think that we probably come to the end of this course, um, uh, just based on the way that it looks. And I agree with Kool-Aid. I, I think that Kool-Aid had wise words tonight. And the wise words he said was gird up. Uh, as a long-term Hawks fan, I've seen it before. We're gonna trade away, we're gonna trade Trey, and we're gonna move to the, the middle of the pack and be mediocre for about 10 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, because usually that's how it happens. Um yep. and and it's a bad forecast, but that's what we have. So gird up, get ready, get ready to see a whole lot of forty-one and forty-ones and thirty-nine and and forty-threes and thirty-six and and whatever, because that's that's the way we're going. Um, and and get ready to say, I wish the Hawks would go out and get a superstar, and get ready to hear the fans talk about tanking. And as long as wrestler can keep some money in his pocket, that's what we'll be. That's what I mean, it looks he like. He never saw in this team no time soon. I don't that think so. Happened. I don't that think so. Happened. I don't think he will. I, I don't think that. I think that as long as he can keep us relevant, 
and keep the fans somewhat happy he'll 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 keep us that way but he won't he won't go out and spend money to get us to a championship and that's the sad part that's because he always spent he spent just enough money to keep you to get you to come to the stadium that's why you know the hawks rank number one in fan experience you notice we number we rank number one in fan experience but we ain't got enough no, we ain't got a top team out there though. See, he well, don't, he don't, not, yeah. he don't, he don't, he don't really care about the winning aspect. He just wants you to it come there. Like he don't, he don't. And and I give people the same examples, Mary, and I tell them this: when they tell me that, when he be like, "Well, he said we would spend money when we're when we win," and I say he he's been the owner with two teams that went to the conference finals. Name me one significant addition he did to either of those teams. None. No zero zilch. So when people and tell me that, like the winning excuse is out the window, it's gone. Exactly. He doesn't want to win. He wants to sell tickets. He wants you to come in there, go to the club, get a haircut, and buy something from the store and get a beer. That's what he wants. He's had people keep coming and tell me, "Well, Trey Young ain't had nobody. He ain't had nobody." The owner ain't spending no money. Look at your contenders. The Clippers have a $200 million payroll. Come on, man. The Celtics is paying. The Celtics paying Jalen Brown more than our whole freaking team. Facts. And they still got to pay poor Zingas on max money. And they still paying. Uh, they just extended Drew Holiday. That was the Bucks, right? Or the Celtics? Who ruled with now? He with the Celtics. He with the Celtics. They just extended him with another hundred million. You look they at are doing what they need to do to, to stay winning. And they spend money on, and we supposed to be over here. I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. We over here relying on, and it ain't nobody fault but our own fan base fault. We over here relying on motherfucking Hunter. Let's be real. Let's be honest here. Like uh, I think, like Larry said, he ain't starting to no know other team that's winning games. None. And we got Larry. Larry, Larry gave me the this guy. The got Kuzma and Bagley. You got so. twenty-two invested in this guy for the next three years. And then I'm gonna show you. They not serious about winning. They could have gave it credit. Get a dude the four year deal, man. He ain't gonna cost you nothing anyway. He gonna he ain't, man. Listen, <sighs> man, they, they go the fuck. I gotta go to the garage because I'm finna get turned up, bro. I I'm about you. to get lit, and I don't, I don't want to be on the internet cursing and all that. I'm finna go smoke, bro. I I gotta call my nerve because I was about to get real loud, <laughs> bro. I was about yeah. to get real loud up in here, dog. You feel me? I just I don't I don't. Yeah. I don't and then and then and then and then, I and then the, I, did y'all see the post by ninety two nine the game today on Twitter? No, nah, I didn't see it. What is that? They, they these dudes, man, they be po they, they 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 stupid. They put a poll up and asked the fan base, who should they take? <laughs> Trail Murray, right? Now, that ain't the first thing they did that. But this my thing though. Why the fuck would you put that up before a game like this? reason why and then you know my response with them i added them too you know what i told them i said do y'all ask goddamn tony russell why he don't spend no fucking money on this team why y'all don't ask him that yeah now granted trey young was fucking awful tonight awful 100%. Like I said, man i don't understand why he don't spend the money add to the team why we all you ever notice with the hawks we always taking away why mm -hmm. we can't add? Why not? They refuse to do that shit. Refuse. And now guess what we're going to be doing next year? We're going to wait for the draft. They're going to draft the two dudes. Who knows if they're going to fucking play? You got, uh, not with Landry. you got a number six overall pick. He ain't playing. Mm -hmm. You didn't play your number, your, your first round pick this year, Kobe, who was sitting on the nope. bench. Didn't um, do nothing. Court was getting scorched, and nothing clicked in the coach head to oh. say, you know what? Let me try Kobe Buffkin. He's a good defender. Let me try him out nope. there. Nope. He didn't even give him a shot. Hey, Amen. No, Demar. It's about his development. Why, why are we trying to win a meaningless game? <laughs> oh Best my god! Why are we winning? 
Why are we trying to what? Come on, why are we trying to win? Why are we trying to win? Why are we trying to win a meaningless game and mess up our draft stock? Matt, you cannot believe that Coach Quinn is going to do anything but play somebody who make more money. It's like a narrative. It, it, it's literally like maybe um, wrestlers, like, I'm paying all this money. You guys said you wanted them. Bogey better play. You better not put that rookie in there when I'm paying all that money for a bogey. Clint well, I don't know because play. he played he play uh, JJ, he play JJ not, over, you, over Sadiq. You, be, you, better not, you better not. You better not re-sign no dang on uh, Vic Kreitzer when I gave um, – how much is um, Trent Forrest making, by the way? 500 grand. <laughs> you telling me that you couldn't – this is how cheap our owner is. <laughs> this is how cheap our owner is. He, even he was not willing to cut Trent freaking Forrest <laughs> or Wesley Matthews for Vic Kreitzer who has just shown how poorly we played, Matthew, that at the very least, his length could have been some kind of deterrent, like it was when we played them the last time and we won. Exactly. Larry, hmm. Larry, 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 Larry. What's the end goal, Larry? What's the end goal? This, what are we doing? What, the end goal, Larry. Larry, 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 Larry. Larry. What's the end goal, Larry? What's the end goal? Win championships. You want to know what the end goal is? No, 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 no. What's the end goal this season? The end goal of this owner is to be cheap and, and have everybody in there swag surfing. We look, <laughs> guys, whether you like DeJounte or you like Trey, the point <laughs> is mute because we're not going to build around anyone properly because our owner has never shown the ability to do that. We have a coach that does not play young players now. So even if we Draft clear where we're going to keep Cat Capella and he's going to come off the bench or he's no, going to come no, off the no. bench for right. Yaka Kongu. Matt, listen, Matt, we went to basically a seven man rotation when players was getting cooked. DeJounte, Trey, DeAndre Hunter, no one could stay in front of a man. It didn't matter who we put in front of um, um, Kobe White. White. He cooked them look like Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. So, you drafted Kobe Bufkin to be that on-point defender. You didn't even give him playoff experience. You didn't give him nothing. You just said he sat there Larry. and was a water boy. No, Larry, Larry, no, Larry, he was a Larry. He was he was learning. He was absorbing the environment. The best way to learn there. is to get in the no. game, fool. No, 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 no. I, no, no, no. I, I don't. You know he was no, learning. No, 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 he was no. learning how to it, be. It makes loose. no. It, 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 Larry, it makes no sense to play he was a guy learning how to be who you loose. feel like needs to. Who you feel like needs to get stronger. Who you feel like needs to develop his offensive game a little bit better. To be a loser. You said but it makes no sense. It makes no sense to here. play. It makes no sense to play him. Matt, as no a fan, you can think, Matt, as a fan, you can think like that. As a person that plays sports, we know when we put on our sneakers or our shoe, tennis shoe, whatever, we put up them shorts and we put on our jersey, man. We're not thinking about tanking no season. We're not thinking about, you know what I'm saying? Mm, this pick could be good for me. Exactly. That's why that's why you gotta save yourself. You gotta save you from yourself. Larry. Hey, real quick, you know hey, real quick. Uh, it's a loser mentality. First time on the panel. Hey, you know the the open forum, Kevin. You know it ain't it ain't moderated, so you just get in where you fit in. Just get in where you fit in, Kevin. But yeah. like, you know, like Same I said, thing. like hey, it's you, no... you, you follow me, Jamal. Just get in. If you want to say some, just say some stuff. But, I don't moderate the, the open forum. I got it's you. Supposed, it's supposed to be like the whole, a, like the, a barbershop type vibe. The whole thing about trading trade because we haven't been able to build around them. It's like. Crazy sports earth, you know, like it's, it doesn't make any earth. sense. It doesn't make any sense. Heaven with Trey. Uh, we, we I'm, I'm going to I'm going to trade. I'm going I'm going to trade a once in a 10, 15 year player for a guy who went 64 and 100 and five six. Or Stop, no, 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 no. I'm not. 60, it's not for the John Trey. I'm trading both. 64 over I'm a four both. year period in San Antonio. I'm not keeping that one of them. Dumb. I'm going OKC. I'm going full sports earth, and I'm trying to get uh, my owner up out of here. I need a petition, man. Anybody gonna sign a petition to get rest up out of here? Like seriously, I'll, man. I'll be time for that. I would. Larry, I would it's agree ridiculous. with you to go scorched earth, but it's 
this team doesn't find talent, man. Not with the front office that we have now. Exactly. That's not true. That's not true. What are you no, talking right. about? It's not true. Uh, we just got what? What? We won thirty six uh, games this season. What talent? What? What talent had? What talent? That's played majority JJ. minutes. What talent has they? Have you they get put rid, on rid of everyone team? else. That's what? played majority of the minutes. JJ and get what rid of team? What here. talent has Landry put on the team that's played a majority of the minutes? To say Toronto is doing it right now, guys. Matt, you keep talking to me about Landry. Landry is the reason we're in this fucked up situation, man. Stop bringing him up to me. Yeah, yeah. we've gone through this, Matt. He made that dumbass trade. That's why we're here now. Stop, hey, Marion. One yeah. thing that you said, we're already at below five hundred, or right at five hundred. Like yeah. it, can, it, it really can't get no better. We are a tenth seed or ninth seed at best with Trey Young right now. You don't know how to build around them. This yeah. GM or this yeah. owner don't want to spend it, or had an ideal to build. It have around. ran its course, man. It have ran its course, man. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's to read it is what it is, man. If you love them, let them go. At this point, but, but like I said, before you rebuild, you got to get, get rid of Landry. Landry, fired. Landry yeah. got to be fired. You cannot let this manager build your new yeah. team. That's the first yeah. They're yeah. not going to do it, Kool Aid. Land, Landry is uh, Landry is Landry got the job. Landry, when Landry got the job, he got a five year contract. He's not going. It don't there. matter, man. It don't no, matter. He's not going right. anywhere because our owner is cheap. Look, he's look, not going to be paying him. And, and, and if you look at the job, if you look at the job he's done for the last 13 months, he's had the job. the new owner, man. If the are owner, you recruited, are you he's done, he's done a great, 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 do you not know that Curry them got Uzma uh, signed to be on the bench? Uzma, but they play all, and we couldn't even get the, a player that can really play signed. <laughs> what kind of manager is that, man? Play Wesley Matthews. What? Poor manager. We need. So, big, so, uh, so big Crazy would have stopped Kobe from scoring forty. Is that what you're telling me? Crazy would have stopped. Yeah, he would have scored 40 against us. You don't want to taste, man. Come on, bro. Matt, you and this bullshit, on, man. man. We both know. Yo, did they like, play? Okay, so the person they kept over him, Matt, did he play? Nope. No, but it's not. But that was that was singularly a money it's move. Not about, it's not about this game. Clearly, they're, they're looking at the long-term view. It's not about this okay, game. Okay, hold on. So you tell me, what is Landry's, what's Landry's long-term view? That no, was, let, let me tell you what Landry said. And I said this to Landry in the chat. Landry said his long time view was not to win now. He said, We are not building around no one specifically. Don't expect us to win anytime soon. Not now. So he's always telling us, Hey, just be here and be around us because we ain't going to win no time soon. Oh, uh, we got to get players to get my DNA. I got to get players that fit my DNA. What kind of bull crap is that? We didn't even know his DNA. Not, that's not, not, that, that, I don't Man, know when he said that. that. He I don't know. know. I don't know when he said that. I do know. I don't know what I don't know when he said that. I do know the other day, and I posted in the chat the other day when he said he ex he explained the players that fit the DNA, the makeup that he's looking for. One. Two, he talked about yes, you got to build around trade, but you can't. Hey, make man, none that, none that shit mean nothing, bro. Results, results. What's the results? Not he can anybody can talk about whatever they want to do or what they like. At the end of the day, the proof is in the pudding. It's by results. So exactly. results, results speak for itself. Forget all. I hate when y'all keep talking. About, he said this. He said that don't mean shit. Come on, man. We're not winning. At the point, I don't even want to waste trade. Um, Career. We're wasting his career. 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 Yeah, send him somewhere else so he can win some games. Yeah, yeah. we're great. wasting his career, man. No, I mean that's that 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 that. Do you want to talk about a loser mentality? That's a loser mentality. No, nah, I'm going to give. Him, I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to get. I'm going to get. I'm going to give the new front office 
time and an opportunity to build a winner around. They said over they knew, man. They've been here. Matt, okay, look at it. He's look at been it. I in charge Matt. for 13 months. You're not going to build a championship like in 13 Matt, months. Your office, Matt, you've been your here. office has you've already crashed the fucking thing. Why as would as you as put as him as back as in the college? Come on, man. This, uh, Kyle, this been here. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle has been in Atlanta for 13 months. I don't care. Talking about, Kyle, talking about Landry Fields. He so got control 13 months, months, got months ago. West. He got official here. control 13 months ago. That's that's what we got. Oh, here's what I'm really wondering, though, and this is the math. Why are you so comfortable with Landry Fields after he did this dumbass trade for DeJounte? What oh, gives oh, you faith that he can do The same reason I was comfortable after Travis gave up three first-round picks to get DeAndre Hunter. Because everybody makes mistakes, but I, I like somebody that's not going no, to double down on their mistakes Matt, and, and realize it was trade. a mistake and move on. No, I, I got he, he, saw, one he saw at the trade deadline that DeJounte Murray why, why wasn't going to leave over spot I, 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 here, and they're just I, picking up scrubs like Patty Mill. Why didn't they leave an open roster spot that we could have filled? They with? did leave an open there roster was, spot. No, they did not. We, we, yes, yes, they, they did. had a full roster. DeMond no, talked about it. We, we had, had a full, full roster at the beginning of the season. You should have had a cut, Patty Mill. Let me ask y'all something. Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? At the beginning of the year, did we did we thought did we think that that all these guys were going to get re-signed. Who? What guys? Clint Capella. When he got his new, when he got signed. When Bogey got his new thing. Did Clint, we, Clint didn't get signed this year, bro. What are you talking well, about? Saying, did we, did we, well, Bo, which one who got, well, Bogey got a new contract. Bogey, this year, right? Not this year. Who are the one who got the new contract that we thought? Mm -hmm. I thought I thought it was a couple of guys. I didn't think he was going to resign, really. Who got signed was Double O and DJ. DJ? During the summer. So I and yeah. see I didn't think DJ was gonna get signed. I thought DJ was not gonna DJ take that take that hundred million dollars contract. I thought DJ now me personally, I thought DJ was gonna go out on the market and shop himself to see if he go, would get more and money. Landry got him for the and Landry got him for the cheap. That's something else y'all need That's to the problem, because So who cares if it's cheap? So he, he got him for the cheap because because DJ didn't go out and shop himself. But then then I didn't think I didn't think. That we were gonna resign, resign Bogey. We kept giving the, we keep renewing these guys' contracts over and over again. I don't think that when Clint Capella contract came up, he can't, he his, his, his contract came up out the the conference final, right? The, 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 about years ago. That's what you're talking about, Kool Aid. Right. right. So it, it it came a couple of years ago. I didn't think we would resign Bogey. See, those are the things we talking no, we about. People we that we should have moved on. To, we, we I didn't think we were gonna resign Bogey. AJ was drafted. To take Bogey's place, but once Quinn got here, he got a uh, uh, extension. But right. see, you thought Double O was gonna take take Bogey place? Well, take not Bogey, but I mean, uh, uh Clint Capella. Yeah, no, yeah, I never, but he never advanced like that. His numbers are better as a starter. AJ Griffin so, was drafted to take Bogey's spot. Right, so right. It, it was not that was what never it? in. Yeah. AJ wasn't a good pick. I kept saying that earlier about tomorrow. He oh, yeah. he just shoot an open shot. Yeah, that was a bad pick. So I just Again, think that one. two guys that I didn't think that 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 should have been resigned. Man, we should have. And see, Landry, if you, you look at you look at you look at you look at uh some of the people that went just like like the Celtics films. They made moves before the for for the, the season even started. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't think Landry Landry ain't Landry really ain't made a great move. Since he's since he's been in control of management, he ain't made a great move at all. Not even at, in 13 months. No at the beginning in of the 13 months. Look, look, man. 13. We, who Matt, who Matt, can Matt, Danny Ainge came in. You hire him to do That's, a job. It doesn't make any sense. Yes, it How does. How do you build a championship roster in 13 How months? Do you, who who built a championship roster in 13 okay, months? Look at the other team, dude. Who? Who? You know what I'm saying? Look give, give me a team. We started with the same dudes, the same dudes, re-sign the same dudes. Oh, we not. You cannot even make a trade that Give me a team that built a championship team in 13 Mills, months. Give me the team. Patty Mills, right? No, we said with the same dudes, right? This, this right? dude, you talk about you talk making moves. You, Utah dump, you talk dump stuff when Danny Ann's came out there, did it? We had a better record than Utah. That, that, huh? We had a better record than Utah. Utah got a record. 
His his move, I think I guess he thought it was a good move. Trade Patty Mill and re-sign Trent. <laughs> Come on, man. That was a, a money move. Money saving move. Come on, man. What a move. I mean, you, like five, five, five million 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 right there. you got all these people, you got all those people down, down in G League. You got some people that free agents that you yeah. could have made a move on, man. But you made a move and went right back and it's re-signed Trent. And then I thought, I guess you think Landry made a good move. Oh, Dwittler. Uh, all the people. Yeah, Dwight Dwittler. Dwittler. I understand, I understand Dwittler looked, he looked good the other night when I was at that game. But come on, man. Landry made a move. You think no, that I mean, was what, So what player What player off the waiver order did you want? Come on, man. You got a lot of players, man. You got like oh, no. G League people. You got a whole I'm bunch. A, I'm asking you. Who? Is, uh, don't tell, ask me. I'm not the GM. What I'm saying, he get paid to make the proper decision. If you're not going, if you don't like the player he signed, if you if you don't like the player he signed, you got to give me somebody else who you think he should have signed. Or if you're going to no, say man, you don't no, know, then you can't say it was a it, bad man. move. Don't do that, Matt. Don't do that, Matt. If you can't, if you can't, if you can't. Can't say if you can't say who he should have traded for or who he should have signed. No, no, you don't have you to. Don't man. know. You can't say well, it's a bad know, move. You know what I said? You know what I said? He should have traded. You know what I said? He should have did. First of all, from my point of view, I think he when he got rid of Trent Forrest and got rid of Patty Mel, he should have signed Miles Norris and gave that oh man a two way contract to play that guy. A, or if he wasn't gonna do that, he should have went down to the G League. And he should have found. He should have found somebody in the G League that, that that's better than Trent Forrest. Trent Forrest, ain't, it ain't like Trent Forrest that much of a talent that you can't find somebody better. I can see it, Trent so Forrest. So, so why, so why, haven't, these other, so why haven't these other teams found something better? How come none of these other teams is signing all these players from the G League waiver wire? Man, you, we had so we had something better. There. We had something Forrest better. They chose not to sign guard him. Trent Forrest, and you're complaining about his talent. Who waited? Fourth stringer? Was that what? Fourth? That's like, that's like talking about that's like talking about the Chadwick, that's like talking about the Braves Chadwick Trump who's been in the organization for like five, six years. Well, let me tell you something. What about that guy that he's playing like, he's bomber? He's a bomber's right he's out of the playoff. He's fine as a who's fourth stringer. Who's that in bomber? Hey, Mikey. Uh, bomber, whatever his name is. Mikey. Mikey. At the end, at the end of the day, man. At the end of the day. Oh, my bad. Go ahead, Larry. Mikey, what was about the Andre Hunter? What is that answer? crackling noise? Is this know. just me? Is it me? Oh, I'm sorry. That's my knee. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh, please, me. Go ahead, Mikey. Uh, uh, no, Mikey. Mikey. I'll give, okay, who, I'll give you a quick thoughts on the Who game. will DeAndre Hunter start for outside of Atlanta? <laughs> and Wizard? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what they do, but uh, I, I, I want to say something about the game real quick. Um, okay, go ahead. Uh, obviously, with with starting Bogey, Trey, and Dejounte, and and I said this before the game, and I was proven right when they came back. The Hawks needed, absolutely needed, to win the three point line and needed to make this a shootout. They needed to make this the game against Indiana, the game against the Clippers, because Chicago just could not score with them. They do not have the roster to score with them. But when they not when they don't hit their threes and they can't defend, we know Trey, DeJounte, and Bogey, none of those, there's not even an ounce of above average point of attack defense there. Kobe White nope. got middle all he wanted to. Doesn't matter who was yep. guarding him. I mean, he cooked DeJounte yeah. for the most part. But I mean, Dejounte was keeping us in the game in the first half with this was this scoring. So like, oh, yeah. it, it is it is what it is. But the number one thing I, I get out of this game every single time you put Trey. Well, no, Trey struggled alone in the first half. Got better in the second half. But every single time you put Dejounte with Bogey or Trey with Bogey, but not together, it you got results. And I've been saying this since January and and, and February when all these stats came out. Why Bogey is the number one team, a number one person on this team by a mile in plus minus and net rating. It's not because of himself. Yeah, he's a damn good player, right? But it's because Trey and DeJounte just simply cannot coexist. Their skill sets do not play well off each other offensively. And you you see, you see every single time the Hawks 16 to 2 run in that second quarter when DeJounte was leading them. In the third quarter, they start off on an 8-0 run. Trey, um, 
uh, once DeJounte comes out, Trey and Bogey lead that one. It's the same stuff, textbook, every single time. That's why early in the season, the Hawks had those slow starts in the starting lineup. Remember when we had that uh, home game losing streak when we started off so bad? Every single time, late in the first quarter, uh, Trey would go out, Jalen would go out, DeJounte would lead with Bogey. He went out, Trey would lead with Bogey. The offense was juiced. And it, it's just this starting lineup just cannot work. There needs to be significant all, all changes this offseason. So starting who you, with who you trading? I, I think I, I think you cannot explore trading Trey until next season because the Hawks do not own their pick next year. If they are bad next season and do not get some crazy like three unprotected picks or something for Trey Young and tank and don't have a bad pick next season. That's the grounds for firing GM immediately. So, in my opinion, the Hawks cannot trade Trey Young or explore trading Trey Young until next season, next offseason. Which means you got to you got to look at trading Dejounte Murray, see what you can get. I think they're going to move off of Capella. I think they're going to explore offers for Dre as well. And you know, I love Bogey, but definitely he has to be on the block with how he raised his trading value at the end of this season as well, with how with how he played in the second half. So, those are my overall thoughts. But Kobe White, man, but you. This team has no point of attack defense. Like it's, I've I've said it all year, and yeah, I know foot foot always brings up that it's team defense, it's team defense, and yes, it it is. But I think, in my opinion, the number one starting point of any de- team defense is that point of attack. And the Hawks don't have a Rudy Gobert or a Bam Adebayo or Anthony Davis. Clint Capella is a good defender. He's still above average on defense, but he's not what he once was. He can't can't he can't handle all the gaps from Bogey, from Dejounte, from Trey. And that's 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 what you saw tonight. Sure. How about firing the GM and president this year? You can't. Uh, that's, uh, that, please, that's, no, that's, no, please change your voice, this? man. What? No, your it mic is like going a, crazy. Sounds man. like a you sound from like Star Wars. Mouse. So we found the static. <laughs> what yes. the heck going on with my mic? This is an Android. <laughs> this is a damn iPhone I bought. Bro is. Oh, okay, hey, I'm, not- I'm gonna go out and come back in. I guess I can see if I can do that. Hey, I'm I'll add a, a short thing. I'm all for listening for listening to people who are open to trading Trey um, for for next season. I actually think if the Hawks are bad next season and they keep Trey, I think it's probably likely that they'll explore trading Trey. But if people convince me to trade Trey this season, there's very little arguments that I will hear because. It hey, Mike. They don't have their own pick. Hey, Mikey. Mm-hmm. You saw, I know you saw that tweet by 92.9 The Game today, right? I don't care about 92.9 The Game. What's your t- <laughs> you the play who, hey, who won the vote? What's up with the media, man? The media, not, they not messing I with can't allow, I can't believe Bally allows Carl Dukes to be on there. I, I can't. It, Yo, it, that's it, crazy. It, it, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. You're right. That's correct. I'd be like, bro, when I, every time I see Carl do something there, I'd be like, he don't even fuck with Trey Young, No, man. he doesn't. No, he don't. Who won hey, the Mikey. vote? Hey, Mikey, if... Uh, yeah. Ooh, I'm going to drop my damn stuff. So, if we don't trade Trey this offseason, right, and we have another losing season, is his value... Do you think his value is going to go down? So, should, my argument would be trade him now, because I think his value would be higher. I don't think... I don't, I don't think there... I don't think... a. Um, an all well, he is an all star. An all star point guard entering the first year of his prime's value could go down that much, like at all. He's even with how 20, the, I say that just because of how the league views Trey. Even I mean, I possibly, but I, I just I think it would be crazy for the Lakers or the Spurs or whoever whoever it is to say, oh yeah, we don't want this guy because you know no he play he played in the play. And he had a down year. He's 27. He's on a Hall of Fame trajectory for his career. I, I don't see how any team would would want that unless they have another point guard they're trying to build around. You know what I mean? Testing. Yeah, Testing. But, yeah, you're good, John. Um, it just depends. I kind of agree with that. If you're thinking that you cannot build around, here's the thing. If you think you're not going to be able to get to be a top 14 next year or the year after that, you must think about trading. Yeah, we're at that time because his his sixth year. We're going to his seventh year, guys. Either we're gonna waste his career and waste our time, or we're gonna do what Oklahoma City did and just go for a scorcher. And I'm not saying and, build around the John T. Murray. I'm talking about everybody must go. The only person yeah. I would even consider keeping is JJ. That's it. Everyone else is on the table. Building 
That's what I'm saying. I, I'll, I'll say, I know I'm talking a lot, but building around Dante Murray and Jalen Johnson to me makes zero sense. The age gap is huge. When one thing, the biggest thing in a rebuild, you need your best players' timelines to match up. Dejounte is going to turn 28. Jalen is 22. By the time Jalen hits his prime, Dejounte is going to be on his decline. But 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 cannot, maybe you cannot, don't need, you maybe, cannot do that. You but what can't. about this, Mikey? What if what about the results? So if you say you say you then you hypothetically you build around JJ. The next three. But watch this. Say you build around JJ and Murray, hypothetically, right? Okay. If the results is there, I mean, let's be honest here. You're looking at NBA players, star players, but they're playing well into their 30s. So, I mean, you have time now. But what does that mean? That means the front office don't have time to bullshit around either because, obviously, they know they own a set, a set time. All I'm saying is you have to explore everything because the results trump, like, analytics. Well, yeah, yeah, I always say, I always say, a, a championship trumps everything. Like people were, it's like the Lakers. The Lakers won that COVID championship. People were saying, "Oh, they shouldn't have traded the uh, Bi. They shouldn't have traded Lonzo." Blah blah blah. No, they won a championship. I don't care. That, yeah. that, that yeah. trumps everything. But yeah. it, to do that, the front office would That's have to. Well, about sure. Toronto. They have to do that in three. Do you have faith that this team can become a championship team around Dejounte and Jalen in less than four years? I, I don't. I don't. You I don't can't, think that I don't I think can't really, the trade. I can't really give I, I you don't. a real answer, Mikey, because I don't believe in the front office. I don't believe the front office will move one day not proactive. I don't believe I, they'll move fast enough. In to four years, like, Jalen won't even be in his prime. And DeJounte after that is gonna be in his decline. I know he can still be good at 32, but, but you, DeJounte but you can still relies add. But Mikey, I, I know but DeJounte relies lineup. on his quickness. He, he relies on his quickness. He relies on space creation. And he relies on his uh, momentum cross he, all that stuff to generate space. He won't he have rarely, that that he has now at 32. But he rarely he relies won't. on pure athleticism. Get, get, get yeah, that's space, what I mean. Get space is a skill. But if you, lose speed, if, has you lose, it. if you lose speed, you can go tra train to, to uh, learn to that's create space without – without using your athletic abil ability. All I'm Perfect. saying is this, man. Listen. I like Trey Young. I, I really do. But this a lot. This season showed me a lot. That injury showed me a lot. It showed me that this team can play at least average basketball with Murray. With and, it Curry, and it showed – and this year – the same thing happened when but Murray this was year, out and Craig. But it's it's they have but you know, Mikey, when you make when you get that match money. What mm -hmm. what's the saying? Let's when you got, let, me, let me tell you something. How that saying go? When you great things, you got great expectations. Yeah. Some shit like I know that. what you're saying. We had a 500 record with Dejounte and Bogey starting, and a 500 record with Trey and Bogey starting. There's no. There's no thing better it's with no Trey, better right. without Trey, better with Deshaun. There's it's even results. That's what we're about. Even. Yeah. There's that's why. Even. That's why I, I'm. I, if I get accused, if I get accused of being a Trey Bay for this logic, then you guys just <laughs> don't understand basketball. No, no, like, no. I understand. Well, no, no, I, I got to say this. I, now, now, I got to say this. I, I, I got to say this about that. Now, before we trade him, is a flawed idea. Because the market, now, gonna, the market will dry up. Because what what are you going to do when the Spurs go out and get Reed Shepard, and when the Lakers figure out that they don't really need another point guard? Reed, the market's going to drop. Reed what Shepard. Other, Who's that? What other teams you need a point guard? What other you teams need to trade him now, or you, you live with it? That's why you I said you trade Trey now. You have to trade Dejounte. You can't. Leave. I agree. I agree. Next up, what are we talking about? What, we, we're talking about trading a trade guy. We're talking about trading a top twenty guy. I know. I know, Larry. I'm agreeing with you. I'm talking to Mary. Why you got to trade both of them, Mary? Mary. We talking about trading a guy in, his, in the Larry, top twenty you. before if he they reaches trade, prime. They have to trade everybody. I'm with you. Yeah. That doesn't make any he's, sense. He's JJ, that's it. Because he's young no, enough to match up no, with Kobe. Why would I trade? Why would? Why would I trade a top twenty player before they enter their prime? That's that's stupid. You talking about Trey? Yes. No, why, that doesn't make any sense. 
These guys are ready to take course, man. It's time to rebuild and to get a manager that can build it. It's time to rebuild. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. If the, front, wait, if the on, ownership Matt, Matt. can't build around Trey Young, a top 20 player, arguably, a top 20 player, no, what no, in the it, hell makes you think they're going to be able to build around Jalen Johnson, Matt, who can't even Matt, go one on one? Kool-Aid. 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 Kool-
You shoot it in the basket and win. You shoot it in the basket and win. You lay it up off the backboard, it goes in the basket, you win. You okay, shoot a free throw, and you go in the basket, you win. You don't shoot, we shoot you don't the lane miss free on the throws. Right? You don't miss free throws, dude. I don't care who it is. You shoot it. You hit your free throws, you win. You shoot I mean, wide up the shot, it goes in. I mean, two, I mean, I mean, two, two cool ass boy, two cool ass boy. You can't have a lot of win. um. You can't have a lot. Ain't of that what I've been saying? Moves. That's that yeah. exactly. Boy, you got so a lot of, You can't have a game where you have a lot of potential. What do y'all say? You die by the three, or you live by the three? Why you live by the three? Because when you shoot the three, they go in. When you die by the three. You shoot the three that's and you miss the three. You die. You, down, you don't hit it. Stop for them and them don't, and we're not putting pressure on their defense. They, we don't make them play defense because we shoot all. See that? Down. That that's exactly right, Carl. See, if you can't shoot, you're not putting no pressure on no defense. Now I put a post in the. Uh, 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 I put a post in New Pack City about Clint Capella leading the league in offensive rebounds, and I asked the question: Guess why? You can't shoot. <laughs> well, he, your yeah, team can't shoot. Yeah, that's yeah, how that's how you them. lead the league. And then Clint Capella can't shoot. He 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 a bad he forty five cent well, Moses well, Malone. Hey, got twenty two tonight now. John. I'm about to say yeah. Really it, it was a decent well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And see now, <laughs> and see, <laughs> and see. This is this is the thing. See y'all will take that twenty two dog on points. From layups, tip ins, when his hand, when when he don't have his hands on back, cause he, cause he, hey, 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 foot, foot in the back before he plays. Somebody has to make sure he puts his hands on the right way. Otherwise, they'll be pointing like this when he's trying to shoot. Because the the Joker has the worst hand placement I ever seen in my life after a shot. When you include him, he look what he gets you. That's all I'm saying. But hey, the points right. Yeah, but well, well, hey, you right? Cause see, thing is, thing is, he'll hit them little bunnies. He'll dunk. You like you lob it up to him. He'll dunk. Yeah, was but, he your, but, was he our was he our second leading scorer tonight? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Trey was diamond him all. Trey was diamond him all night tonight. Yeah, yeah. All them, all them, all them shit. yeah he got, all he all got twenty. All, 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 all that, all that baby food he was getting came from, came from, uh, came from those, those, uh, those layups from Clint Capella. Layups. Layup. Yeah, about five of those assists from Clint Capella. In the, in the paint. What did Kelsey see? Somebody like it. If Hunter would have hit five of his shots, we probably would have would have won this game. Add that up. He hit oh, Add that up. They were all five threes. What? If he would have hit them, and that would have been five more assists that Trey would have had. But he missed. He was zero for eight. He didn't. He didn't hit his first shot to the third quarter. Go add that up. We we lost by more than fifteen. And that's right. That's right. Almost by fifteen. Add up three times eight is what? It doesn't matter. He didn't hit him. So exactly, <laughs> that's what I said. The ball well, go in the yeah, basket, yeah. we win. The ball don't go in the basket, we lose. Yeah, no shit. Kool Aid, I'm gonna go back to what I said. Kool Aid, guess what? Let's make this get easier shots. Then, and, and, that's my whole point. Well, wait a, minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, oh, boy. You I can't say get easier shots. shots, buddy. I've I been about easy shots, shots, shots in the paint that's one for him. Look, I've cool, right, so been in the top ten, 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 top but, right. but but see, look, 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 look. I, oh, hold up, hold up. Let me ask y'all this: Do we really need a hellified point guard? No. Let me ask this question. I mean, mm -hmm. I need a number. One. I need yeah, a number you, one. I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Okay, okay. Do we really need a hellified point guard? I need at least yeah. a Dejounte at point guard. No. Yeah. Dejounte. So I, so yeah, we do. so. Yeah, we do. Yes. No. Why? Why? DJ because ain't see, one of okay, the same see, thing. Because, see, right now, okay, right now, Trey Young will be qualified as a hellified point guard. And the reason why I say that is because he's got the scoring load and he's got the assist load. Okay? Now, the point guard traditionally is supposed to be the one that starts the offense. The, and what you saw with both Murray as well as Trey Young, 
you clamp them up, they're going to fumble the ball away. They're going the other way because you saw the same thing with Murray. You saw the same thing with Murray last game and previous games. When they when they really want to get the ball out of his hands, he dribbles so wide. And, and really, really, Murray is a lazy Ugly. point guard. He is Ugly. really lazy. Yes. Okay? Like he five. is lazy because he stretches. He doesn't run to where he's supposed to be. He stretches. He uses his arms and his legs to get places instead of his <laughs> yeah, yeah. He 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 looked he looked like a plastic man falling out of a tree. And what and what and wait a minute, wait a minute, John. I want to ask Jamal said uh, Jamal, you said earlier he had a dog, he got this dog, so you want to keep him. He couldn't channel well, that in he the does have, he does have he does have a dog. Yeah, he does have, have dog, dog in him. Where was that dog at tonight? He does yeah, have dog. When you, when you got a drop, when you got a drop, you, know you, know you, know you know how hard it is to be a two way player in the in the NBA. What, what we no, 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 no. We dropped thirty. We dropped thirty. What I'm saying is, what your max contract player, Matt? What I'm saying is, what's your max contract player, Matt? Look, Playing worse than Joel. I'm not looking. I'm, I'm not looking at nobody's paycheck. No, okay? no, I'm looking at your max contract. No, 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 I'm not no. looking at nobody's paycheck. Hey, what, what, did know, do, what did Embiid do? What did do tonight? And he was hurt too. What did Embiid do tonight when he was on that check? Three quarters. Hey, Pharaoh, get him, man. You know Wait, what? He didn't do shit. The you first know damn well quarters. what happened. Trey Young, Joel Trey Young showed up and Trey did. Trey Young, Trey Young don't have a team that can keep him. That can keep him in the game. But Joel Joel broke up. He. He woke up. Joel, Joel didn't do nothing. Joel didn't do anything. His whole his team brought what? him back into his life. Were, we, were we or no, were no, we not losing? Uh -huh, and man, then the man. team brought he us back to half too. He did contribute man. in that full court. John, 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 he contributed. John, he contributed right after the after his team got the lead back. You so why didn't Frank do that after our team got the lead back? Well, look, Matt, Matt, you you're right, but. You're well, right. He contributed. Who got he the contributed. Lead? Who got the lead back for Trey? Matt, I'm looking at Joel and B. Just, just, just Dejounte Murray. Oh, Matt, Joel had twenty three and fifteen. Dejounte brought him back. The game was gonna be would have been over in the first. I'm half. sorry. What now? We were down eighteen, and, and who led that run to get us back into the game? I'm talking about the third ah. quarter. <laughs> now nah, he moved. See, quarter. now he's trying to move it. I'm talking about the third quarter. Joel and B. We were down do three at Joel halftime. Why didn't do anything until the seven minute mark of the fourth quarter? He had four points the whole oh, second half until the seven minute mark of the fourth quarter. Oh, Trey that's can't do that. There you go. Hey, I'm Trey glad you said that. that. What happened at seven minutes? You're talking about Embiid, right? Embiid, yeah. right? So he went to hell off I'm I'm not talking about that, but I said until the seven minute not, mark of the fourth quarter, about. he had that's four. Can Trey Young have four points in the in the second half? But man, he came back down by 15. Hell but man, one guy showed up, the other one didn't. Oh, oh, oh hold up, hell hold up. Now, now, man, man, came back against the Celtics. But oh, man, this, man, this is man, this is the thing. Tonight, see, the, this is the thing, Matt. They might have brought him back, but there's also no a thing. Him. Oh, okay, well, fine. They brought him back, but. My point that I want to make, as far as this is concerned, is that once you get back, you gotta stay back. You gotta maintain whatever lead that you Fred get, and he he contributed in maintaining the lead. Yeah, okay, yeah, he that. was he was dead the first three quarters. He was dead the first three quarters, he and was, like you said, up until the played. seven minute mark, he started contributing. And see, the thing is, is that it's just the same thing that people always say. Well. Uh, um, uh, you got to play defense in order to stop them. No, you got to continue to score to maintain to a lead. You got matchup. to continue yes, no. to score, it's especially in this matchup. Because he's got I'm, to continue I'm, I'm to score. Well, he didn't I'm score. I'm going to give you credit real quick, Mikey, because I was John when you was first said in the Twitter chat. So I'm going to give you credit. I said you was right. I don't know yeah. if you saw it. Uh, you you I said saw that. You, broke, you broke it down in the Twitter chat. We need to score. Hey, we don't have hey, to. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, the, Mike, that was Mike, the, only times, yeah, the, the only times we came back. Uh, wait, I have the quarters right here. The only time we came back in the game was it when we scored 45 points in the second quarter. Every single other quarter than that, the game got out of hand. And yeah, the Bulls I mean, still scored 33. So they scored a lot of points. But our offense, like I said, it, it's just better. If you make it a shootout, we, we're in it. But they couldn't make shots. See now, I, now, Mikey, I don't know about that because see, a lot of times we brought That's a, what happened. A, a, a lot of times we'll bring a butter knife to a, a shootout. 
But yeah, Mike you know we'll do it. Right, though. What Mike but, said is right. He said that shit early and before the game. Well, well, well. Hey, 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 hey. But Mikey no, is repeating. Like, Mikey is repeating ordinary. everything I've always said about <laughs> offense. <laughs> Ordinarily, we need to. We ain't talking about that one, John. I know what you mean. Don't get mad. Let me tell you. Hey, hey, hey. It's a little bit. It's a little bit of what Kool Aid said. If you put the ball in the basket, you win. He absolutely right. I'm gonna tell you what was another problem with this game. Could I tell you what another problem the game? While I was looking at it, is that nobody had the heart to slam Kobe White to the ground. It should have been, they should have took well, a, if they wanted the to come to win now. this game, one somebody should have took Kobe White when he came inside and slammed his little pole little butt as hard as they could to the ground and took well, a flagrant. Well, and That's they what they should have been. It should have been no insult. Hey, 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 you coming inside. If they weren't giving us no easy foul, we were giving them all the little tick attack foul. Grab hey, them, they don't play like that no more. Slam them. Slam them. Slam them. Give me some elbows. Hey, 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 what I've been telling y'all, what I've been telling y'all, five elbows. Yeah, 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 see, we, we, well, well, to Kool-Aid's point, now, what I've been telling y'all, what I've been telling y'all, so we don't, this is basketball, we don't get no calls, we don't get no calls. For us, crazy, but let uh, let us let us exhale on somebody, not breathe on them. Let us exhale on somebody. Wee, 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 wee. Just like the damn fire so department you know that the came out there. This is that crazy. type of tick attack foul, man. You take somebody and you slam. Yeah, them I mean, you look at yeah. The and say, now that's a foul. That, that just like Charles Barkley used to tell. And if you hurt the guy, if you hurt the guy when he come up in there, get what he gonna start flinching. He gonna start thinking, y'all play basketball. You know, doing well. If I you hit you with a elbow, you come up in there. Next time you come up in there, trying to shoot a shot, that's you gonna flinch. And your shot gonna get short. Your shot gonna get short. What that kid first elbow? Your shot gonna get short. Dejounte, like Perry, Kool Aid, Kool Aid. What Kool Aid and Pharaoh? Our dog and Jamal. Our dog. Don't even start, man. I'm not trying to hear. I'm not trying to hear, man. I'm not trying to hear, man. so the coach was not feeding nobody no gunpowder he should have sent somebody off that bench Mochi or somebody say stick him, boy. It, it, it was some powder. It powder. was some powder was involved. It was some powder. Five five Mochi. I need five five. It was some powder. Oh, involved. Oh, you know it was some powder involved. Now I know. I know. Five five a lot of powder going around. Five five. 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 Five I don't need you playing no easy. Hey, hey, guess what, Wesley Matthew? You don't need to come out there like a sister. How many times? How many fouls uh, uh Wesley Wesley get? None. You know why? Because you played like a little punk when he should have been fouling, fouling out the game, busting somebody up. Talk to your coach, bro. That's some real basketball wait, 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 right there, man. Give me some new players on this team. I don't want these one these, these, these little sisters. Like like you say the dog didn't want to get ejected because he was the only one scoring. <laughs> I'm, sick of the these, boy. I'm sick of them all, oh, man. All of them. Hey, I, hey. You, I, I'm telling you right now, they played like little girls while they played while the other team were punking them, man. And then, then this, 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 this dude, the Kobe White, Kobe White, Kobe White, Kobe, Kobe Trey Young can go up in there because he was getting beat up. Guess what? Kobe gonna, White coming now, and he wasn't getting, he was barely getting touched. Come on, Yo, man. Lay up. Come on, listen man. You know what I mean? The layup he made. This is come this on, is man. Of, this dude ain't even calling straight. Um, this, 
this kind of gives a an insight into kind of how bad the Trey and DeJounte pairing didn't work. And this is from Grant on Twitter, if any of y'all know. They had the worst two-man lineup net rating among any combination of the Hawks' top eight guys, minus 6.5. The team as a whole only had minus two. Out of the Hawks' top 10 most played five-man lineups that only featured one of Trey and DeJounte, meaning Trey and Bogey or DeJounte and Bogey, those lineups, every single one of them were plus 5.4 or better. Yeah. Like, that ridiculous. Kind of happening you have, so in short in like in it's long story short I, hey demon your time ticket demon trey and bogey on the floor they're good anytime dejounte and bogey on the floor they're good anytime trey and dejounte on the floor together they're not it's the only but kind of this, we have i'm trading trey so you're telling me to trade the dim start um young right but, 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 oh, can, can i trade the guy who's never going to be a star but jamal can i trade the star that's no longer and never been a superstar yeah. I, I, I asked you. Yeah. I did. Yeah. 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 I swear to God, it's never been a superstar. Jamal, Jamal, let me ask you this. Here. I'm listening. This I trade with uh, Druggy on the fat line, too. How can you justify mm-hmm. trading Trey this offseason mm-hmm. when the Hawks don't own their pick? And if they're mm-hmm. bad next season, they won't get to take advantage of that pick. Mm-hmm. You know, it's going to be crazy. You know Hold on, it's going to be so crazy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let Jamal you gonna give Trey go ahead, and Wendy Cooper flag? No, what? Let, let Jamal answer. I don't believe that Trey's value will be as hot next year. Let's just say if we kept them next year, I don't believe it'll be even hotter or better, according to y'all, because you said going into his prime, top twenty player. I don't believe it'll be. I said that bullshit. Don't worry about that. Don't I believe. He, he I believe. Is so, he is. No, no, no. no Mikey, listen, Mikey, not, Mikey, no, no. saying something about some prime. I think he was talking about real. No, let, let I believe he. <laughs> if if you're gonna trade Trey, I think now we, 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 we ain't have, judging a piece of meat here. Yeah. While you have to- teams that are interested in him because they want to pair him <laughs> with Wemby, they want to pair him with, with Lakers, whatever. I think now is the time to do it. I'm not saying yeah, build around DJ to be the next Atlanta Hawks franchise best player, whatever. Like I don't, that I don't really care about. I'm just more caring about getting his trade value now. My, just- okay, yeah. My counter argument is that Dejounte's value is higher than it has it ever been right now. Yeah, that's my counter argument. No, like, yeah. my counter. But you're also saving is- a lot of money trading Trey. You understand? Why we care about money? How do I care about money? Do we care about money? Which one is though? Tony Reshner cares about money. That's what I'm saying. Do we care about? Guess what? Do we? Do you, Demond? Do y'all care about Tony Reshner's money, or do y'all not care about Tony Reshner's money? Because y'all trying to save him a dollar one minute. Didn't want him to go into tax right the next now. minute. But I'm saying, no, I, bro, I, I like, never wanted him is, to go into tax. I never said my thing about is like if you trade Trey to anybody but the Spurs for your picks back plus whatever <laughs> that means. Yeah. If you don't suck, you're fucked, kind of. Yeah, exactly. That's my doesn't yeah, make any sense. It, it okay, makes so, sense next year. So to me, so what I'm saying is, Matt, no, this you is, gotta and like it. I said, the tonight is the only night they have to explore trading Trey. Tonight, yeah, tonight is the only night I will explore this this um rebuilding trading trade thing with you. If and I said this in the space I was I just left twenty minutes ago. If you trade trade this off season, you better be trading DJ and mm-hmm. Bogey mm-hmm. and Dre mm-hmm. and Capella, and you better be, you better be running out. You better be running out a Kobe, AJ draft pick. Jalen Moji Khalil Ware lineup this season. You better be <laughs> because exactly. because okay okay now if that's your plan, good for you. Good luck. Mm-hmm. Good luck. <laughs> that's fine. I'm, I'm, Landry, I'm, and I'm, the that's cool. Okay. And we paying yeah, the coach eight million dollars so. a year. I don't think so. Hey man, he has a big smoking that boy. If that I'm saying that smoking that yay all I know you. Y'all remember that one? I don't. I don't think I'm paying a coach eight million dollars a year a to, 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 in, to win fifteen games next season. I just not yeah. Like, hey, that's your coach, man. Isn't that your coach? No, 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 I'm, saying, I'm, not, I'm saying I'm not going. I'm not. I mean, I'm he's I'm not your going coach to tear too. Down to you, that, you, you a Hawks fan, right, right foot? You a Hawks fan, right foot? Yeah, but I I told y'all what I felt about. That's your coach too. But that's your coach too. All right, the day what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, show. You are your coach. Hey, he's our coach. Look, look, I'm not tearing, I'm not I'm not paying a coach eight million dollars a year and turn and turn the team down to oh, a hey, hey, um, I'm sorry, that's, I'm that's, that's, he's a junkie, not our coach. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on.
hold on, y'all. Shout out my boy DeAndre DeAndre Hunted tonight. He was out there. <laughs> DeAndre Hunted was out there. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. When you play, when you play against an All NBA player, they they gonna score. Hey, Demond. Now you need you. Man, you I, just, I, 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 I ain't the gonna lie. Now you you think that, that boy be was if we trade him. Right. I told him. Hey, fourth now. round. Hey, please tell me this. Hunter, fourth round. He was fourth no, he was round. Four. He was first round number fourth four. Round. First round. Okay. I mean, first well, round number four. Any, that's not what we talking about. Literal first I, round I, number I, four. I, I, I think. I, I think. Darren, 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 if, you trade, if you trade, if you trade the Jonte Murray, I think you could get the, a DJ and double O. DJ and double O. DJ and double O. Get you Brandon Ingram draft club. What's the whole point of trading? What do you? You're gonna trade DeJounte DJ Murray for what? O for Brandon. I'm gonna trade DeJounte. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trade DeJounte Murray mm-hmm. for a starting wing Boo. or shooting guard Boo. and and, and, picks. and then and then, but then, then do what? what? Who? Backwards pass. Huh? Backwards but then pass. what? What are you gonna do? What, what are you gonna do after that? We're backwards right back to pass, square one man. before that it's no, 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 I'm not Jamal. I got, Jamal Ain't nothing back to fit and happened to pass off to you. I got three Oh, I got three picks I can move. Niggas gonna be starting. Yeah, no, who you getting? Who you niggas gonna be trading? Trade, 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 starting. No, trade what I'm Kobe saying is, you, if you if you do that trade, with, if you do that trade with DJ, we're right back to where we were. No, we're not. DJ we're better. and we're double better. O. How? Who are you getting, man? We're better can than I get this? Jamal? We Jamal. we had the picks Jamal, before him. Jamal, Jamal. Can I can hey, I get him my plan? Hey, we got I get him my plan. Yes. My plan is you trade DJ and Double O. The two players the Pelicans covet for Brandon Ingram. You draft Khalil Ware and we fucking run it. That's what oh, we do. Oh no! Hey y'all, and hey, we finna end the stream, man. What's Salute wrong with that? Tell me what's wrong chat. with it. Salute Smash everybody. That like button. Salute Smash everybody. That like button. Hit that like button, man. Last post game live show of this year. You sound so Stay disappointed. Tuned, we're, gonna it, it. we're gonna do the little pre-draft show. Appreciate it, Demar. We also gonna do. We also gonna do the draft show. Demar. Hey, no work, no worries, Kool Aid. Hey, it was a good season, but we're gonna get what? No, 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 you want to be a poverty franchise. We're already a poverty franchise. Yeah. <laughs> already. We already a poverty. We can't do worse than what we're doing now. 